Okay, guys, welcome back to NQIS. Steve, once again, we have another PDB. I love PDBs. What about you guys? You got to have them. You got to have a PDB. Now, what sort you have is basically, mate, there's so many different combinations of PDB these days. You can pick your own flavor. You can be the same as everybody else, or you can be as different as you want to be. But hey, a PDB is all about practicality, okay? So this one, real ACC. It's a direct copy of a Maytech industry board. So let's open it up, guys, because it's all sealed on here. We'll open it up and we'll see what we've got. Okay, okay now we've got it out of its packet, guys. What have we got here? We have got an XT60. That doesn't look like an XT60, Steve. What does it actually say on there? It says something on there, but I can't read it. XT60 W. So it's an XT60 PW M20. Have we seen one of those before, guys? Okay, well, I must admit, I haven't. Let's just get a bit of light. I haven't seen one of these before. All right, so there she is right there. And it is obviously solders onto the back of the board on these two sections here. So you've got a mount strap which is going across all the way and the two pins now this pulls apart why does it pull apart let's have a look how does that pull apart steve oh yeah it's come apart on me okay so there's the two posts that are going up and through and in and i guess you could get a little bit of heat on the back of those posts if you needed to by taking off the back and soldering it to the board okay well i haven't seen one of these before guys let's put that back together off camera or does it just click back in it does it just clicks back in there and there she is all right so there's a couple of minutes on the new style of xt60 because i hadn't seen one up close all right all right, let's have a good quick look at this. Now this board is simplicity, it just is. Um, if you want a current sensor, that current sensor lives on the PDB. If you don't want a current sensor, don't look at it, all right? This particular one has a current sensor. It was a few dollars more than its younger brother. Its younger brother doesn't have the current sensor on it. It's just a plain old 12 and 5 volt out and then running the backs off the corner. But this new version, not only do you get a current sensor, but you're also getting signal wire placement. So off your ESC, here's motor one, okay, you can just take your signal wire directly to this pad. So how good is that? You just cut everything the same length off your ESC, put your signal wire uh, your ground signal wire with your ground of your ESC twist them together solder them up tin them place them on that pad and then you put your signal wire in the middle pad and then you put your positive to the ESC on that pad and there is motor one taken care of so that is a good little neat inclusion that brought into this board so not only do you have the new style of XT60 which is instead of pushing the power up or down with the battery plug, it's pushing the lead away. You have a current sensor to see how much your motors are actually pulling in amps. And they have arranged a signal wire now, which is between each pad of the motor. And then the signal wires, one, two, three, and four, come out in the one place you are able to put a 
plug with a set of wires off it to plug it onto your flight controller if you wish, or you can just direct solder directly to the motor heads, each one of these signal wires coming out from your ESCs. So guys, as far as I'm concerned, this is the board. Up to date, this is the type of PDB I want. It has a current sensor on it. It has ground, it has a five volt BEC. It has a 12 volt BEC. You can see that the five volt BEC is actually got noise suppression on it as well. So if you wanted a little bit of noise suppression going directly to your camera, it's already there if you're running a five volt camera. Okay guys, so that's the PDF that you can get to via um, the QR download. The QR code on the front of the packet will take you to this PDF online and you can download it. Now, just a quick little thing. Main thing is on your current sensor, make sure you set it to 236, the scale output voltage in the current meter when you turn it on in beta flight so in beta flight turn on your current meter and do 236 set it to that all right and like i explained that's how you connect it all right guys so thanks very much for watching do all the usual if you're not subscribed please subscribe if you like this sort of stuff give it a like thumbs up and share with friends. All right, see you on the next one.